Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about a common fallacy in thinking that I think is really widespread, and I think it's related to this phenomenon called the fundamental attribution error in psychology, which is that people tend to explain their own behaviors and things in terms of the sort of external constraints and context, where they, whereas they're more likely to explain other people's behavior in terms of sort of innate attributes. So for example, if I do well at something, or if I do poorly at something, I'm more likely to say, oh, well, that task was easy, or that task was hard, or I was well prepared, or I was poorly prepared. I'm more likely to, to sort of come up with those types of explanations, Whereas if I'm looking at someone else, and they do a task well, or they do a task poorly, I might be more likely to say, oh, that person's smart or stupid, or that person is competent or incompetent. The truth of the matter is, like, we're both people, and we both have these innate abilities, but we also have these constraints. And so it's kind of an error of thinking. And one of the reasons that it happens is that when we're thinking about our own life, we see all these different factors, and we're working with them really intimately. So we understand all the different things that influence the outcomes of the tasks that we take on. Whereas with other people, we are only observing them from the outside, we're not actually doing the tasks that they're doing, and so we don't see as much of what they're doing. And Plus, it's just hard to kind of wrap your mind around all of that. So the idea of viewing someone as sort of competent or incompetent, like labeling them in that way, it's kind of a simplification. The problem is that it's an oversimplification, and it can lead to problems which can sort of hold people back through their interactions with people. One way that this happens is through the idea of self-fulfilling prophecy. And a good example of this is in school. If you have a teacher, and the teacher, for whatever reason, believes that a certain student is not good at something, now, that could be they believe that the student has like a tough time learning a certain subject, or they believe that the student has kind of behavioral problems or things like that, that belief can actually lead the teacher to kind of treat the student in a way that uh, draws out a sort of poorer level of performance. And this has actually been experimentally validated. There are experiments, for example, where uh, students will be divided into random, divided at random into two classes, and the, the teachers will be told that one class is gifted and the other has like behavioral problems, and then the results will turn out to sort of support that uh, instruction, like it'll sort of become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I want to put this out there because I think that of, as humanity on the broadest level possible, I think that we can grow more, we can have better results if we're flexible in our thinking. So I want to challenge you all to challenge your first impressions of people, and maybe not just your first impressions, but your long-term impressions of people. And I want to tell a few stories about this. I meet lots and lots of people, and there are a lot of people who, for whatever reason, they don't really strike me as that intelligent. But one thing that has happened to me over and over again is that I've been uh, interacting with someone that I've had weeks and weeks or months or years worth of conversations with, and I've never felt like I really had that intelligent a conversation with this person. And just all of a sudden, out of the blue, I'm talking to them, and something comes up, and I start engaging with this person, and I'm like, wow, this person is really incredibly intelligent, and they have something really intelligent to say about something. And in some cases, it's something that I didn't even know that the person was interested in at all, or like, experiences will come out that the person's talking about that I had no idea that they had. And it sort of blows my mind how often this happens. Uh, I think it's valuable to be open to that. And I think especially if you catch yourself thinking about someone in a negative way like that. If you're like, oh, this person's so incompetent, or this person's stupid, if you're thinking things like that, 
One thing that I've seen proven over and over again in my life is that people aren't that simple. No one is simple enough to be stupid. Like, everyone has their own insights, their own skills, their own bits of wisdom and experience. Uh, so if you find yourself thinking about someone in that way, now might be a good time for you to look a little bit more deeply at that person and try to challenge your impression of them, and try to look for the things that don't fit with your impression of them. Because I bet in most cases, you will find those things if you start looking for them. And that's really awesome, because if you're interacting with someone and you find that person sort of hard to deal with, or you find that they act in ways that you find incompetent or problematic, if you just view them that way, it's not going to really enrich your relationship with them. Whereas if you find ways to draw out attributes in that person that you like, and that sort of have good results in terms of the work that they're doing, or the effect that they're having on other people, that can be really transformative in a really awesome way. Uh, I have seen people do this with me. There are things that I have felt like I wasn't good at, and then someone comes to me and they're like, hey, you're really good at this. Like a good example, when I was younger I felt that I wasn't very good at relating to people. But somewhere along the line, people started telling me things like, hey, you're a really good listener, like I've been talking to you about this, and you really seem to understand me. Or they'd say like, I really like how you are thinking about this. And, and I started to realize that I was a lot better at interacting with people, and better at communicating than I realized I was. So that's just one example. Uh, viewing people in this more open-minded way can be uh, immensely transformative, and can yield really great results in your life. Um, so I would challenge you to do that. Um, I would love to hear from you, so if you have anything to add, if you have questions, comments, please comment. And uh, if you want to hear more of what I have to say, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.